I always see that clapping is a demonstration that they, my listeners, are happy. Yeah. I miss making people happy. Yeah. They're excited. I miss that. So online, it's fun. Yeah. Performing, but I miss the big key, which is you know, interacting with my audience. So that was was empty. As, as you know, as musicians, you know, uh, we perform, we, we live from performing. It's one of the keys for us to bring financial stability into our lives. At the same yeah. time, emotionally stability. Because yeah. we connect with audience and we, we basically feed up from the reaction, their feelings, their applause, just connecting yeah. with them. So, uh, in that sense, is being challenging. It feels weird. Yeah. It, it, it feels just to let you know how interesting it is for me. Um, in Peru, how we greet to each other is, you know, if that's the opposite sex, you say, "Hey, let me introduce you." We greet with a kiss, with a cheek, yeah. and handshake. You know, and it's very close, you know, or social bubble is very small compared yeah. to Americans. Um, so doing music, it kind of makes my social bubble close with people. Yeah. With Americans or any culture, it felt like my music allowed me to uh, make my social bubble closer and you can come and we can talk, we can hide. Yeah. It's like the virus put us <laughs> in a way that we, we, it's like the virus is winning the music. It, yeah. Music is losing. If we're having mm -hmm. this battle of, you know, who make us closer or distance between each other, yeah. It's winning, and I don't like that. It's, no. it's so depressing, you know, not being able to. Yeah. You know, I grew up in Lincoln. My whole life until I left for college, and I felt more at home last summer with all of you than I've ever felt before. Going back like a year ago, when I was very honored, I mean, I was honored to be part of your event. I feel like a simple guy that just crossed the ocean uh, with his guitar and, and now being uh, included in this amazing, talented group of musicians. It, it felt like no matter where you're coming from, we have the same passion as you. Yeah. No matter what kind of instrument, how the instrument is made, we we probably have the same journey that you had in order to be right now with us on the stage. Yeah. So for me, having that perspective of remembering how I started. Yeah. At this point, there's no end, you know. Yeah. Uh, but. And now these days, I mean, today, like a year later, uh, being able to laugh with these people, converse, talk about what they're doing, learn from them, experiencing yeah. being on the stage and also experiencing being uh, backstage and also on the seats, listening to other musicians and now not having that. I feel sad. Yeah. It's sad. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm what what is the first thing that you're going to do when quarantine is over when you find out that everything is uh, back and you can what are, what what are you going to do that's a good question i didn't <laughs> think about it <laughs> i think i want to make a party with my music and have a first, you know, live concert outdoor after, you know, pre-COVID 
Uncut. Yeah. Post yeah. cut. Yeah. I think I think it could be a good time to to do a concert and connect yeah. with people physically and be able to handshake. Yeah. Act them. Give hugs. Yeah. Yeah.